Hey guys, welcome back to Revenge of the Sea Team. Uh, let's just catch up from last episode. I uh, explored around the nether quite a bit more. Here's the map. I found another fortress. Way over there. Found a blaze spawner. And uh, got a blaze morph. There we go. So, uh, mission successful there. I also upgraded all of our tools. I uh, used a cobalt for the shovel, the hatchet, and the pickaxe because cobalt has the fastest uh, mining time out of all these uh, Tinker's Construct materials. And then I made a Manilian broadsword because uh, Manilian has the highest attack damage for all the materials. And I made the rest of the sword, uh, like the handles are all uh, obsidian, I believe. No, Manilian tool rods for the handles to add the durability modifier 2.5. So the durability on these are 800 each. And the uh, durability on the sword is 1200. Does 8 attack damage, so just higher just a little higher than a diamond sword at the moment, but I'm going to add a lot of nether quartz to that. And we'll probably get up in the uh, 20 to 21 attack damage range when I'm done with it. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, didn't get any responses to the last video. It's got like five views right now, <clears throat> but uh, nobody left a comment on what to do for this episode. I left it to viewer's choice, but uh, we'll just leave that standing, and uh, if there's any requests, I'll just do them whenever, they, whenever the video comes up. Okay, so today, actually let me store, let's store this stuff I picked up here. This is my uh, nether stuff chest. Just whatever I find in the nether goes in here. If it's nether specific, that is. Uh, let's see. I've got a random weapons and tools box here. And that's also full. Well, dang it. Um, okay, sulfur there. Coins. Okay, there. They can just go here. Alright, so today... <clears> throat's a little scratchy. Let's see. Here is a project I wanted to do. We are going to be making a player interface. Let's grab this stuff out of here. Uh, I got a uh, Wither Star from one of those chance cubes. It's called the North Star, but I'm sure it still works in crafting recipes as though it wasn't named. So let's look this up. Here's the player interface. So you have to make an ender chest, which is just a eye of ender and some obsidian. And then you have to make this player core, which is an emerald with four lapis. Uh, several episodes ago I mentioned that I found some emerald but couldn't mine it because my pickaxe wasn't good enough. But since I upgraded to cobalt, uh, I went back and picked those up. So I got a couple of emeralds. And then the nether star we got from our chance cube. So let's go ahead and put this thing together. <clears throat> when I remember where my crafting bench is here. Oh wait, we have to make the uh, the core first. Okay, I already put together the inner chest. All right, there we go. Player interface. So this thing, basically, what it does is it checks your uh, inventory all the time for what's in it, and you can pull things out, or you can actually put stuff into your inventory uh, remotely. Let's uh, 
I want to kind of have it up off the ground, I think. Let me get one block here to put this thing up off the ground with. Okay, so <clears throat> the sides of this, I believe, are your inventory. Let me go uh, bat mode so I can get underneath here. Yeah, so the bottom is uh, your weapons. I think, no, that's what, hotbar? That's your hotbar, that's your inventory, and the top is what you have equipped. I think that's right. Anyway, we're going to play around with that a little bit today. So I want this thing... hooked up to a... Uh, like a bunch of pipes. Let's go item duct. Right there. Put a servo on that. And throw a chest right here. Now the servo, we want to whitelist dirt, like that. So now what this should do is, anytime there's dirt and it, it checks in the inventory it's connected to, which is my inventory, my player inventory here, anytime it sees dirt in my inventory, it'll pull it out into this chest as long as the servo is on. So here's the one dirt in my inventory. Let's say, turn that on. Yeah, okay, dirt's gone. It's right there. So, if I hook this thing up to the uh, random dirt chest I've got over there, if I hook this thing up, uh, let's say lift it up off the ground knock that out let's say I go there and there and we put a servo here let me go grab another one there's uh, two servos the other one's floating around here somewhere Nope. Uh, nope. Where is my other servo? I know I have two because they're made in groups of two. Maybe... Oh, I remember what happened. I had it set up on a fluid duct, and when I removed the fluid duct, it disappeared for some reason. Anyway, alright, so we've only got one for now. We'll just... I'll make the other one later. All right, so this is the dirt box outside the house. So I want this to always pull dirt from my inventory into that chest. Oh wait, whitelist, my bad. It was starting to take everything. Whitelist dirt. Let's uh, take a bunch out here. Yep, okay. Now it's working. Alright, now eventually, if I go out uh, exploring, mining, yada yada, for a long time, this is going to fill up. And it's all going to be just dirt, so I think what I'm going to do is put a deep storage unit here that holds dirt. Got my project stuff out here. So a deep storage unit basically is, I don't want to say infinite storage, but it's a very very large amount of storage but only for one item type so let me turn this off so I can uh, work with the dirt here without having it disappear again let's go craft our deep storage unit Alright, so you need a factory machine block, which is three plastic sheets and three stone. I think it's got to be smooth stone, colored or whatever, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, the plastic sheets you make from raw plastic, which is just cooked rubber bars that you get from cooking the raw rubber from rubber trees. So cut down a rubber tree to get this, cook it to get that, and then cook that to get these, and then you take four of those to make the sheets. And uh, this recipe makes three machine blocks. All right, so you take one of those, you get uh, two eye of enders, which is uh, blaze powder and an ender pearl. I got the blaze powder from uh, after last episode, killing blazes. Three ender pearls and three more plastic sheets. So you have to do the plastic sheet recipe at least twice, and that makes you a deep storage unit. So uh, I got a new mouse also, by the way. Yesterday I went out. Uh, picked up a new mouse so now I don't have a uh, broken scroll wheel well not broken but it wasn't working as it should all these uh, essence berry bushes are grown I need to harvest that all up get me some levels alright so throw our deep storage unit right there and just in case I'm gonna start it with some dirt now let's turn this on Make sure it starts pulling things out of my inventory. Yeah. And I've got only the like basic servo, the lowest quality servo in here. So I think it can only take four items at a time. So it is pulling the dirt out of my inventory, but very slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and just manually throw these in. And that will help keep my inventory clear when I'm out uh, running around. Don't have to worry about it getting cluttered up with dirt and the other side is going to have gravel and flint I'll probably make a uh, storage box for the gravel a uh, deep storage unit for the gravel specifically okay uh, let's throw out uh, this extra stuff I've got hmm Let's open some chance cubes. How about that? Uh, these 20 sided chance blocks, the icosahedrons. Yeah, icosahedron. Uh, I'm going to leave those alone because, like, 8 out of 10 chance it kills me. <laughs> it gives you a crafting bench and then you explode. And uh, I think if you can survive the explosion which I can't do because my white stone isn't charged. If you survive the explosion, it drops you a block of diamond. So, anyway, <clears throat> let's uh, put these out here in the open next to something that's not going to get exploded, just in case. I guess let's uh, clear some area out here. So we can see what's going on. All right, chance cube number one. Uh, get a boat and a block of water. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put the next one in there to get rid of that block of water. Don't need that. All right, number two. There's some cookies and a cookie monster who got stuck in the ground. Okay. It was just a uh, baby zombie. Uh, let's, I guess, not put them in a hole. I have them floating over there. All right, next one. Ow. Uh, poison potion. How long is that going to last? Another 15 seconds? Eh, it's fine. I got some food on me. Oh yeah, this mutton that I was kind of ignoring, uh, it's actually pretty good. It heals for four hunger. Fills up four hunger uh, slots. Alright. Next one. Uh, 
What was that? Um, okay. Looked like something fell out of the sky. I'm waiting for blocks to drop. Hmm, okay. I wouldn't put it past them to just drop a giant cube of cobble on top of you or something. Or uh, gravel, I mean. Or sand, even. Uh, Leonidas. He's carrying an Aether's Guard sword. That's from the More Swords mod, More Swords 3. That'd be awesome if he dropped that. Fairly low chance, though, of him dropping his weapon. All right, uh, next one. What is this, number six? Last stand, okay. Seven? Oh, there it is. That was it. Crafting bench explosion. Well, let's go pick my stuff back up. Yeah, if you survive that, it'll drop you a block of diamond somewhere next to the crafting bench here. Alright. And last one. Put my armor back on here. Um, yeah, whatever, good enough. Uh, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. Oh, there's dirt in my inventory. Pretty sure the player interface doesn't check the hotbar, the way I have it set up over there. So if I have dirt on my hotbar, it will not take it. But uh, I can always put a pipe from the bottom of the cube and connect it to those two boxes and have it check my hotbar as well. Let's just put that there. Okay, it's okay. Uh, you can also add things to your uh, hotbar and inventory using the same method. Just... Oh. Compass, clock, stack of torches, and iron pickaxe. That's not bad. That uh, saved me a little bit of crafting material. Making these two. I mean, not a whole lot. Nothing too crazy. Alright, well, that's eight chance cubes. One out of eight killed me there. The uh, icosahedrons are a lot worse. Oh, I figured out... Um, couple episodes back where one of my items randomly just went into my uh, trash can box there. It's because when I deleted a waypoint on my map, uh, the item was directly behind where my cursor was when I hit the delete button. So if you're deleting waypoints from your map, make sure to move them out of the way where they won't overlap with your inventory. That way nothing will go in your uh, trash can slot on accident. Because if you put more than one thing in there, they're gone for good. Like, you can put something in there, and uh, come back later, and it'll still be there. But if you put two things in, it deletes the first. So, just keep a, keep an eye out for that. Let's delete the waypoint from our journey map. Alright. Uh, let's see, this is equipped items. I think I can set up a deal to take broken armor, put it into our blood chest up there, and then whenever it's fully repaired, pull it back out and give it back to us. But uh, that'll require a little bit of uh, piping and servos and things. And I don't really want to get too much into that at the moment. Gotta make some more servos. Um, go find a lot of uh, nickel or ferrous ore to make invar with to make some of those better servos and I've got to make a lot of machinery 
to uh, process ores and things. Uh, let's see, I guess for now, this will be a little bit shorter of an episode than normal. But uh, for now, that's going to do it. If anybody has any suggestions or uh, requests... Oh, hang on a second. Neighbor's got his motorcycle out. Give him a second to go by or whatever. Okay, so if anybody has any uh, suggestions for upcoming episodes or any comments, leave those below the video. I, uh, I read all my comments, and most of them I reply to. Also, leave a like if you're enjoying the series. And if you have any project ideas, throw them at me. I'll see what I can do. But until next episode, I will see you later.